everyone, my name is Naz Ostrich, and today I'm going to be talking about CP62, which is a poem called Jerusalem 1967 by Yehuda Amahai. A little bit of background about the author. Yehuda Amahai was an Israeli poet and author. He is considered to be one of the finest poets of Israel. Amahai's poems are originally written in Hebrew. His poems are known to be some of the most widely translated Hebrew poetry. Amahai was born in Germany in 1924. His family fled to Palestine due to the Nazis' rise to power in Germany in the mid-1930s. He later went on to fight alongside Israel's forces during the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. Amahai's poetry was political in nature as well as religious, contrasting to other Israeli poets who we studied in the course, whose poems mainly focus on the religious aspect of their identity and the Arab-Israeli conflict. Amahai's experience during World War II and his involvement in the conflicts of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War greatly influenced his political perspective. To understand the poem Jerusalem 1967, we also have to have some historical context. In 1967, Jerusalem went into the 1967 War. This is also known as the Six-Day War. The war took place between June 5th to June 10th in 1967. This was the third war of the Arab-Israeli wars. Leading up to the war, Palestinian guerrilla groups based in Syria, Lebanon, and Jordan had led the attacks against Israel. Additionally, days before the start of the war, Egypt and Jordan had signed a defense pact, which Iraq also joined shortly after. In response to the mobilization of its Arab neighbors, Israel launched a surprise attack on Egypt and Syria on June 5th. Within the following days, attacks were also launched on the Eastern Front, with Israel fighting Jordan as well. The Arab forces were left vulnerable, which resulted in a ceasefire conducted by the UN on June 10th. Israel was victorious and took control of the following territories, the Sinai Palestina, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank, the Old City of Jerusalem, and the Golan Heights. The 1967 war resulted in a new age of conflict between Palestinians and Israelis. Thousands of Palestinians became refugees, and another one million Palestinians were put under Israeli occupation due to Israel's new territories from the war. Here are some important quotes from the poem. And already the demons of the past are meeting, the demons of the future and negotiating about me, above me. Their give and take, neither giving nor taking, in the high arches of shell orbits above my head. In vain you will look for fences of barbed wire. You know that such things don't disappear. The first quote from the poem refers to the politicians who start their wars and make their decisions without consulting civilians and the ongoing nature of war in the region of Israel. The second quote further establishes that the nature of conflict in the region and how civilians have to continuously stay aware of the war zone they are living in. Civilians are at the whim of politicians and their decisions, as seen by these quotes. Here are two more important quotes from the poem. I think of children growing up half in the ethics of their fathers and half in the science of war. What do you know about Jerusalem? You don't need to understand languages. They pass through everything as if through the ruins of houses. The first quote on this slide mentions the word children and fathers, portraying how the conflict has continued over generations. With the use of the word growth, Amahai claims that the conflict will continue and that the nature of war will become a normality to these children who will one day become civilians. The second quote draws the reader's attention to the fact that Jerusalem has many languages, Arabic and Hebrew, with many homes, Palestinian and Israeli, which both face ruin through the scope of war.